Hello everyone, I'm back in the kitchen and today, for your delight and pleasure, I'm going to do something really basic. We were talking the other day about Christmas food and so on, it's just after Christmas, and it's like, well, I haven't, I've not had a trifle this year, no one's made a trifle, which is typical Christmas fare. Al mentioned bird's trifle. Like what? Bird's trifle. I don't know if you've had these before, I've never even come across them. Then yesterday, he said, pointing with his big finger, I went to B&M and I saw Bird's Trifle kit, a box of trifle. So I'm going to make this and I'll show you how to make it and I'll do a review and I'll taste it and try it. <laughs> Here we go. So everything we need. Got me Bird's Trifle kit. Got me bowl. That's a pie dish because I haven't got a trifle bowl. Got some scissors to open the sachets. Got some sugar. 425 mils of milk. 425 mils of boiling water. So quickly, let's look what's in the kit. Okay, what's in a box? Opened up, we have got our four bourbon fingers, all sealed in a little bag. Pop that down there. We have got our birds, dream topping. Dream topping. Dream topping, could be acid, I suppose, bit of LSD. We've got, to give you a good drink, we've got custard powder. Now, I love my custard. So there we go, custard powder, and this one is for milk. So that would be nice, not a water one. We've got our strawberry flavor jelly crystals. Look at that, pack of that. They feel quite weighty, actually. And we've got some little little chocolate sprinkles. I'd have, I'd have thought we'd have multicolored uh, hundreds and thousands, but we'll let them off. So that's your contents of your pack. Right, here we go. Now, there is a bit of equipment I didn't show in the original picture. That's a spoon because I've got my strawberry flavour jelly crystals, which I'm going to dissolve now that I've boiled the water in the kettle. Okay, and when I dissolve them, obviously, having just tipped them in like that, I'm going to have to stir it with a spoon. I'll spare you the pleasure of watching me do the whole thing. Meanwhile, though, it says in the instructions, take out your your little biscuits, your little trifle biscuits, your lady fingers, whatever they're called. Um, oh, can't do this. Don't want to break them up too much, okay? But it says, break, look at that, I broke them up. It says to break them in half, okay? So break them in half, put them down the bottom there. There you go. There are my four biscuits with the sugar on. Okay, all lovely. Hope you can see that, you can see that. And now I'm just gonna do all this. Then I've got to leave that to cool for 10 minutes, that jelly, before I pour that on. Okay, once it's all dissolved, I can feel it dissolving already. Spot the difference. Alison said, no, I think you're supposed to break each finger in at four pieces. As she grew up on, a, on an estate, I've taken her word for it. Custard time, 425 ml milk, two tablespoonfuls of sugar, I'm using dessert spoons, because I don't want it too sugary. And then custard powder, and you boil it up in a saucepan, or, like me, you can make it in the microwave. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm giving the custard a good old stir before I pop it in the microwave. Now, this will take quite a few minutes to actually warm up, but that's no bother, because what I'll do is I'll keep um, stopping, stirring, stopping, stirring. So we've got to make sure all the lumps are out. This is actually, actually looking really good. It looks like it's dissolved nicely. Um, and then I'll let that cool down sufficiently before I can pour that on as well. Right, custard is nicely cooked now. That's five minutes. Give it a final stir. Got to leave that to cool down and set a bit as well. So just leave that by the window. Don't do that if you've got anything that's going to steal it, like a, a cat, child, elephant, killer whale. They're renowned for that. They leave no evidence. How clever they are. Look at that, lovely custard, lovely custard. Ignore those lumps. There aren't any lumps. It's my jelly. It's cooled down sufficiently. Gonna pour my jelly. Oh, look at my jelly being poured. Gonna go over the tops of the sponges. Oh, all around the sides of the sponges. Look at that. <gasps> Delightful. Delightful. Look at that. So, jelly is poured. So there's my jelly, that's all set. Okay, that's a bit wriggly, so it's gonna tip out if I do that too much. Custard, it's cooled down a set, so I'll mix it up a little bit. I'm just gonna spoon it on like that, okay? 
we went shopping you see if I'd come in a bit earlier and it hadn't set that'd be running I could pour it and be all neat and tidy but I like a better texture so here we go this is a custard I'll put the rest in a minute but then you just spread that out look at that that's nice look at that look at that my bird's cussers actually look at my bird's trifles actually look like they might be quite delicious okay so there we go everything's set nicely so now i've got 110 ml of cold milk and there's my dream topping my bird's dream topping look at that now i've got to whisk, whisk that up until it gets small peaks so i've got the whisk out which i didn't show you earlier that's going to go there and we are going to go like that a bit of whoom <laughs> There we go, so that's all whisked up now. So I'm gonna start putting that over there. Look at that. I had a little uh, taste of it. It's kind of like a vanilla-y flavored cream. It's rather, rather nice actually. So I'm quite looking forward to this. And last stage, put your sprinkles on, look at that. So there you go, I've made a bird's trifle. And I've got to be honest with you, it looks all right. It looks decent. The proof, of course, is in the pudding. And that I will tell you about in a little while. Look at that, it's just lovely. Look, you can see it all. Oh, Bird's trifle. <gasps> Biscuits and jelly and custard and topping and little sprinkles. Well, there we go. Look, that's all ready to serve up now. So I'm going to serve it up. It's the first time I've ever made a trifle in my life. And it's a bird's trifle from a trifle kit, which I've never tried knowingly. So here we go. Let's get a big old splurgy old bit out. Look at that. Oh, look at that. That serves up all right. Look. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Look. There's a little bit of runniness in there. Oh, nice. Well, not runniness, but softness. Oh, I'm impressed, actually. Honestly, I, I am actually impressed. Well, that, that's fallen out, but now we can see that. Look at that. That's good. That's some good stuff. Let's try this. Make sure I get a bit of everything in there. A bit of biscuit, a bit of jelly, a bit of custard, and a bit of dream topping. Yeah, that's good actually. That is good. I'm pleased. I'm pleased. That gets a big thumbs up. Mm. Very easy. Quite faffy, but very easy. So, yeah, I think get your kids to do it. Mmm. 